And finally this evening, South Africa's fuel prices will reach their lowest point in over two and a half years, starting from today, the 2nd of October 2024, signalling an improvement in the inflation outlook. This decrease is attributed to lower global oil prices and a strong rand against the dollar. Since fuel makes up nearly 5% of the inflation basket and influences the prices of many goods, this drop may reduce inflation expectations. Furthermore, annual inflation slowed to 4.4% in August, the lowest since April 2021, falling below the central bank's target range. Additionally, policymakers anticipate a further decline to an average of 3.6% in the final quarter of the year. Now, senior economist Gokets Omanu discusses the economic implications of these changes. The latest consumer inflation reading for the month of August revealed um, just how weak domestic demand is in the country. We saw headline inflation softening further to 4.4% um, in August, down from 4.6% in July. Um, and it is now below the target midpoint of 4.5% that the Reserve Bank uh, is working with. Uh, on a monthly basis, we saw marginal pressure there of 0.1%. We did see some contributions from food and electricity, but those were offset uh, by fuel deflation. Uh, from a core inflation perspective, or when you think about underlying demand pressures, we saw uh, core inflation sitting at 4.1%, so closer to 4% uh, rather than 45 um, and there was no monthly pressure. So, so seemingly there is just no, uh, no demand-driven pressures at the moment. Uh, we did, from a supply side, uh, see s marginal increase um, on a month-on-month -month basis to electricity inflation, which is in line with the August survey of uh, municipal uh, increases uh, that is conducted by Statistics. Um, food and non-alcoholic beverages inflation also lifted on a month-on-month -month basis by 0.2%. Uh, which was driven by vegetables, cereals, as well as dairy and eggs. Uh, but that pressure was mitigated by, by meat deflation. So on a year-on-year -year basis, food is slightly up to 4.7% uh, from 4.5% previously. Uh, lastly, uh, fuel prices uh, fell once again um, and are only up by 1.8% uh, when compared to August of last year. Uh, so we think that for the remainder of the year, we should see headline inflation numbers you know, really being weak. Um, this is a story of weak demand, um, you know, falling fuel prices that are, are supporting lower transport costs. We also see that at the global level as well with uh, softer oil prices. Um, what's also been supported from an imported price perspective is the stronger rand. Um, so we, we think that, you know, the, the remainder of this year we should see uh, inflation remaining below that 4%.